Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to All Under the Squirrel Tree. My grandkitty Dave here wants to be a mo ouch, movie star. <laughs> He's determined to get on camera. Yeah. Now? No. Later. Nope, not now. Okay, he's going to insist on it, but we will give him, a, give him his chance after. So, anyway, today. Today is, yes, today is Friday. And I am making uh, templates, a couple of different templates for, Dave, you can't sit on my lap, uh, for card and envelope set. Um, for this particular envelope and card, the template, uh, when it's cut out, will measure four by six inches this way, or 16 centimeters by 22 centimeters, and six and a half inches this way, or 16 and a half inches this way. I think I said that right. Four by six. Four by six. Yes, four by six. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I have written things down too many times on here, to, and I'm just reading it. Anyway, it is a card and envelope template. Yes. So, what I did was... Oh, I can move that little guy down. Uh, I took an old envelope that a birthday card came in and traced it out on this fairly heavy cardstock. Um, and yeah, that was that was it. I just I traced it out. It looked uh, kind of hard to see on that. Yeah, just like a regular envelope, folded out. Once you've cut it out. Dave keeps tapping me on the shoulder. Just for simplicity, I measure, I marked one, two, three. I marked, put the glue up to here, and glue up to here, but no glue in that little spot there. So you put one down, two down, three down, hold it till the glue is set and dry. And there you go. That is how simple that is. Um, the template is just a blank piece of paper with, I will have put the measurements on it, uh, on, on the template one. Um, and it fits inside quite nicely. If you want to um, embellish the cards with lace, ribbons, little beads, or anything like that, I do suggest cutting it. Just a shade, maybe like an eighth of an inch, a couple of millimeters uh, smaller, so that it'll allow room for the bulk in the envelope. Um, cards, you could decorate your envelope any way you want. Um, paint on it, put stickers on it, whatever you want. Uh, look at this. You can use any paper you want. This is a, a piece of grocery bag from um, a convenience store. They don't use plastic bags anymore. They give you these great big, heavy, thick uh, brown paper sacks, which is wonderful for reusing. But that's how simple it is. You can just kind of ignore those cr cross uh, creases there. My card. And again, I mean, this is not the template, so it doesn't have the numbers on it, but side by side, and then the bottom flap up. And a little bit of glue, which, of course, has decided to go on vacation at the moment. 
Good grief. Okay, I'm going to use this glue. This glue takes a little bit longer to set, but that's okay as well. This is that same glue that I always forget to close the lid on. I'm not sure why, but I do. And then it makes it hard to get any glue out. So again, like the template says, just a little dribble there. And a little dribble there. And that's it. That's it for glue. Fold it up. Press it down. Now, given that it's this kind of glue, you might want to let it just hold it for a couple of minutes. Maybe just hold it down like that and chat with a friend. Or look out the window and see what you can see in the clouds. That's a, a new game that I've developed for myself. Like I'm the only one in the world that's ever looked up at clouds and gone, gee, that looks like a piece of pizza. Or, wow, that one looks like Charlie Brown. Or, oh, look at the puppy in a teacup. That kind of thing. But I do that. Um, usually when I'm holding down glue. <laughs> but there, that is that simple to seal it when you put your card in it. You can glue it very carefully just along the edges or you can tape it down or a combination of. You can close it with washi tape or stickers, whatever you like. And that is that done. Actually that one is done. Now, does the card fit properly inside? Yes. See? So, as this is just a practice template, because I cut it a little bit wonky, using a ruler, how do you do that? Um, I'm going to just tuck that under there so that that will... Dave, are you still... Dave is still sitting behind me. I bet you I could make him squeak if I sat back. I'm not going to do that. That would be mean. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. Where now? Where are you going? No, you can't come up here yet. Um, I don't have any stickers available. Okay. Well, you know what? Where's my... Here's my pen. We can write... Hi, friend. Of course, I would, if I was doing it for real, I would use much nicer writing or a stencil. <laughs> Hi, friend. Just wanted to say, and then you can go diddity diddity dot. Open it up, and they will read. You are awesome. Doop, 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 doop. Then with a great big happy face. Very, very happy face. And then you can sign it from your friend. Barb. Well, you wouldn't have to sign it, Barb. You can sign it with your name. But you get the idea. Stickers, beads, ribbons, stencils, painting, sketching, collage, cut out pieces of a magazine that, uh, and make the card with that. Once again, endless, endless, endless possibilities. And then you tuck it in. I wouldn't suggest licking it. Glue it down and hand it to your friend. And I'm actually going to use this envelope, so I'm not going to write anything on it. And honestly, this is just the crease in the bag, but it looks kind of neat. So there you go. That is my uh, card and envelope template.
and I'm making up a couple of them to share out and it just makes it I mean you can do this just cut out the piece of paper this one just a regular printer sized sheet of paper um, oh, I wish you could see Dave he's looking at me like he's very very interested in this but then that's it one two three done okay so I'm very glad you were here I hope you will come back and visit again under the squirrel tree if you like this stuff give me a like give me a comment um, subscribe if you haven't that would be great I'd like to grow all the all the I was going to say all the nuts on the trees, but I'm certainly not calling you a nut. Um, leaves on the trees. I just, I just want to grow my group and make some friends and have some fun. So, you do all of that, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.